You're watching UNICEF Television. So UNICEF is uh, launching its uh, two-year reports um, today. Uh, and in the report, what we are um, reporting is uh, slowly improvements. We are reporting progresses uh, in some areas. I mean, in education, in health, in nutrition, in water, sanitation, child protection. In education, for instance, we have been able to support 750,000 children to go back to school uh, in 2011. Um, among them, 80,000, an estimation of 80,000 children have been able to go back to new schools, parasitic schools, and because we have been building 193 schools uh, in the affected areas and in some areas where we had uh, children displaced after the earthquake. In the area of nutrition, for instance, we have been able to provide support, life-saving life um, uh, intervention to more than 50,000 children in 365 feeding centers in, uh, throughout the country. We, we report in, in, our, um, in our document that 95 communities have launched uh, new initiatives to improve sanitation, also in the rural area in particular. Today, in the report, we are able to inform that we have for the first time a directory of the residential care centers in the country. We were able, together with the government, to assess some 360 residential care centers in the country, and we have been registering already more than 13,000 children um, in these centers uh, that are now registered, are more protected in a way, uh, out of the estimation of 50,000 children that we have in all these centers. These centers are supposed to protect children, but we know that in some cases they do, but in, in some others they didn't and they do not. So, I mean, this is a, a big progress uh, for us and for the state and the partners. Now, all of these interventions and these progresses, and we call them little victories, uh, uh, in fact are in a context of extreme poverty, uh, I mean structural poverty, chronic poverty and underdevelopment. We always have to remember that before the earthquake the situation was not a good situation for children. So this is the context in which we are working in. Our feeling today in UNICEF here in Haiti that there is hope and we are receiving very strong messages from the new government that we have to support them uh, to move forward. And I think this is for us very important. We know by experience in UNICEF that we can work a lot, we can work very hard, but if we don't have the political commitment and the political will, um, it's very complicated. I think here today we are working with the government that is putting the children first in the agenda and is really supportive to working on children issues. So I think this is for us very positive. For more information, visit unicef.org. Unite for children.